Hello and welcome. A different filming location today because I'm trying this out to see if the audio is any less echoey here. I noticed echoing a lot in my previous videos and I don't have good acoustics anywhere in this apartment. Kind of just have to deal with some echoing, but I think this location might be slightly better. We will see. So I went to the library on Wednesday and I am hosting a readathon this weekend. So this is both my library hall and my potential TBR for this readathon. There's no way that I'm reading all of these during this readathon. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to read all of them before they are due back at the library. But I'm hoping to read some of them and I'm really excited about all of them. I'm kind of in the mood for like a fast paced book that I can just fall into the world and get sucked in enough that I just want to read it all in one weekend. And I'm hoping that one of these will be that for me this weekend for this readathon. So I kind of intentionally got more books out from the library than I could read because I'm kind of playing the read something until it sticks game this weekend. I'm hoping that I'll pick one of these up and I'll just like fall into the world and not want to stop reading and hopefully finish the book in a short amount of time. I'm currently hosting a read along for Royal Assassin and I am doing a terrible job at hosting it because I have read 14 pages this month. Now I have been sick this month and I've been not in the mood to read. I'm kind of in a reading slump right now. I had an amazing January and February I've barely read anything at all. So hopefully I can read some of Royal Assassin this weekend, but honestly this I already know is a long slow paced, very character driven story. And that is some of my favorite stories ever is slow paced, character driven. But I'm honestly just not in the mood for it right now. I want something fast paced and gripping that will make me just not want to put down the book. While I definitely want to finish this by the end of February, I kind of think I might try to read another book before this. Also this book is like 700 pages long and it has small font. It's not, it's not um, one that is easy to get through. And I'm looking for something that's just like an easy to get through story. And hopefully after I read that then I will be in the mood for this again. As far as Readathon TBR goes, I'm currently reading The Barren Grounds. I'm listening to the audiobook actually and I listen to the first half of the audiobook yesterday and I fell in love with the story. It is about two indigenous children who are in the foster care system in Canada. One of them has been in the foster care system for basically as long as she can remember and the other one has just entered the foster care system so he actually remembers his tribe better. But in their foster care home they actually find a portal to another world and this world has like the creatures from the legends of their people and I am just totally in love with the story and the characters and the world. It is so fascinating. I listened to the first half of the audiobook yesterday and I feel like I will definitely be finishing that one this weekend. Now to get into the library haul. The first book I picked up was Changeling by Philippa Gregory. Now I have kind of a love-hate relationship with this author. Some of her books work amazing for me and some of them don't work for me at all. This is her young adult book. I don't believe it's based on any actual historical characters although I'm sure there might be some in here. This is her historical fantasy because there's definitely magic in this world. This is the shortest book that I picked up from the library, which is part of the reason that I picked it up. It is 250 pages, so I feel like it's definitely possible if this one is one that will click with me that I would be able to get through most of it this weekend. Next one I picked up is Jade Fire Gold. I have seen this one around quite a bit, especially on Instagram. I've actually seen quite a few critiques for this book. It's kind of gotten mixed reviews. The premise sounds interesting to me and this one is a little bit on the longer side. I think it's about 450 pages but if you look at the font size this one it has a reasonable font size and whenever I started reading it because I wanted to know if these were stories that would like draw me in I started reading the prologue and the first chapter and this was a story that I felt like could be one that like really draws me in and makes me want to keep reading all weekend. So 
I have hope for it and we'll see. Hopefully it works for me. Next one I picked up is Crown of Secrets. I think this one is a self-published book. I know my library does sometimes purchase self-published books and this kind of appears like one to me, but I'm not exactly sure. This one is about 250 pages, so it's on the shorter side, which is what I'm looking for. Um, the font's decent. And this is about a girl who, she's part of the ro royal family, and everyone in her family has magic except her. She's the only royal without magic. So she is actually sent away to try to form an alliance with one of their enemy kingdoms. And I, I think it sounds like an interesting premise. I started reading the first chapter. Um, this also has like fairly short chapters, which I enjoy. And from what I read of the first chapter, I was enjoying it. So I am hoping that this is also one that I will be able to like pick up and read pretty quickly and has like a pretty fast paced, interesting plot. Next one I picked up is Blood Rose Rebellion. Apparently I was interested in stories where the main character's family has magic but the main character doesn't because that is the same premise for this one except this one the main character lives in a society where like the social class is based on how well you can perform magic not only does our main character not have magic she actually disrupts magic when she's around people trying to use their magic so she is a threat to these people and she is sent away but she learns that things in her society might not be all that they seem and I don't know what happens in the story. I started reading it. I enjoyed what I read so far. This one is a little bit longer. It is about 400 pages but font size seems good. It seems like a story that would pull me in and I'm intrigued. So hopefully this is also one that I will pick up and read very quickly. And the last book that I got from the library is Crown of Oblivion. Now this one is definitely the longest book because this one is almost 500 pages. But again, I think the font is good. I don't think it's too small. I think it's one that I have the potential to read very quickly. This is also a character that does not have magic in a society that values magic, although she doesn't appear to have a family that has magic. I'm not actually sure. She is an indentured servant to the royal family and she is in a bad situation and the only way that she can get out of the situation is to enter this life or death competition. But whenever she enters the competition, she will have her memories erased. And I think when she's in the competition, she actually finds someone who she does remember or something like that. I don't really know the entire plot. However, I started reading the prologue and the first chapter of this one and this is the one that drew me in the most so despite it being the longest I might pick it up this weekend the writing felt very immediate it felt like everything that was happening was like super important and I was very intrigued and I'm hoping that this is a very fast-paced read that will keep me on the edge of my seat it keep me reading the entire book in a short amount of time. Those are all the books that I got out from the library for my library haul and are all potential candidates that I will read this weekend. I'm not even sure that I'm going to complete an entire book this weekend, but I am hoping to get a lot of reading done and I'm hoping that one of these books will be a book that I will just like want to fly through and read as much as I can. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. That said, I do definitely want to get back to Royal Assassin and I might try to read it this weekend. We will see how I'm feeling. I'm also kind of a mood reader. So if I'm in the mood for something slower, maybe if I'm reading one of the other ones that's like fast paced and I'm like, okay, now I'm ready for something slow again, then I can switch to this one. Either way, I'll try to finish this by the end of February. And those are my reading plans. What are your reading plans this weekend? Do you have a book lined up that you're ready to read? Are you hoping to finish a book this weekend? Are you hoping to start a new book? Tell me in the comments what books you're reading. I'm really excited for this readathon and I hope you are too. I hope you're joining along and if you're not, I hope you have a great weekend anyway. And I hope to see you in another video.